came to thinking with the line is I start by putting up too much stuff and eliminate, eliminate, eliminate. I only gave them a little stamp of cardboard or I might only give them one brush and one color painting. Because with the lines, you have to really think about the orientation of things. It's clearer and you can really see what you're doing. So you really learn what makes a pattern and you can see it as you're doing it. The sequencing of what you offer helps guide because it gives them some parameters. If you just say, do what you want to do, you don't really get anything. You might demonstrate something, a little bit, not much. Pick up on the children's ideas of how to do it. And then they just take that away. But it doesn't happen right away. They need to practice. You grow in complexity, but it doesn't happen all at once. It's over time. And the thing is, children don't like things if they're too easy. They need the challenge. They need a problem to solve. That makes it interesting. Then they figure it out. Then they've invented something. And I've always felt that materials, that making something, creating something, gives you strength, gives you power, gives you a good sense of self. It gives you pleasure. It gives you a sense of accomplishment and problem solving. The arts working with materials provides all that. I think if people have that, then they really have a grounding. encompass all the other things we're trying to do. They're about literacy, describing what you're doing. They're about problem solving, mathematics, like oh, working with clay, how can you get something to stand up? What do you have to do to do it? And articulating that. You can see where their ideas lead and then build on what they show you. Like the, there were some children that were storytelling with their line tools. And I wouldn't have known that if I hadn't asked them. <laughs> Because I, I have to say, I, I didn't necessarily see it. They're hearing, having the visual and uh, the language to go along with it is so enriching. It's one thing to do it, and that's pretty cool too, and that's power. But then when you, you explain it to somebody else and give it the words, and they can appreciate what you did, then you've really accomplished something. You've understood your own capacity, your own power.